Ghostbusters, Spook Sleuth, Demonologist. They go by a lot of different uh, titles. My, my guests are uh, nationally known uh, Warren, Ed and Lorraine Warren. Ed and Lorraine Warren, a name most people may recognize. These two are one of the top paranormal investigators in history. Edward Warren, a self-taught demonologist, and his wife Lorraine, a clairvoyant psychic medium who can communicate with spirits and demonic entities, have worked side by side for over 40 years. They have dedicated their lives to helping out victims of tragic hauntings and demonic possessions. You may recognize some of their more widely known cases. For one, the haunting of the Annabelle doll. Is the worst thing in here. It's that doll. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stare at it though. So you, you can take the picture, but I'm not gonna stare at it because that is that has done badly bad harm on, on a lot of people. Or the amitable horror haunting. What I did was use religious provocation. I have to provoke it into some type of outward manifestation. And that was my point in doing that. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to reveal your identity. Or possibly even the haunting of the parent family. How do you do it, mate? Don't you ever get a sore throat, Jenny? No. Sure? Yeah. You never get pain in the back of the neck or something? No. no. Oh, what do you mean? I'm not with you. What? Oh, you're with me now? With me? Um, sensation in the back of the neck, yeah. Well, tell us about that. I'll no, tell me about, tell me about that. You get it, you get it now? It's buzzing in the back of the neck? Yeah. Do you feel it vibrating as if it was sort of... Um, no, like someone... The Warrens have gathered many possessed objects from cases such as these and have kept them in the comforts of their own home. Although retired, the Warrens will forever be some of the most influential and renowned paranormal investigators. It's not easy, you know. You, you know, you see things and experience things it's more comfortable now. It's a lot more comfortable for me.